Well, hello everybody, and welcome to What Really Grinds My Gears. <laughs> now, first of all, let me just set things up by saying, if you're looking for some kind of viral video that's showing uh, people saying outrageously shocking things, uh, no, this isn't it. This isn't about my encounter with some Confederate flag waving, MAGA hat wearing person saying terrible things out loud and calling people derogatory names. This is really about casual racism, the kind that flies around us uh, all too often and very much all too often goes without being challenged, particularly when it's strangers. But, you know, I see videos and I just saw another video today on Twitter where people say, hey, if you see something, say something. Don't let that kind of thing pass. And uh, I've, uh, you know, I've always wondered, like, what would I do? What would I do if this happened? Uh, well, the opportunity or uh, that's not even the right word. The situation arose. And I guess what I did was just react with instinct. Didn't plan it. Here's what happened. Now, uh, a few days ago, I went out to the Dodger game to see the playoff game between the Dodgers and the Colorado Rockies. Game 163. I rode the Metro train out to Dodger Stadium, as I usually do for day games. I'm on the goal line, riding into LA, uh, stopping at Union Station. Two guys get on the train. They're Dodger fans. They're heading to the game also. How do I know? They're wearing Dodger jerseys. One guy wearing an Eric Karros jersey. Now, they get on the same car as me. There's uh, different ways to sit on the train, on the metro trains. You can face going forward, uh, or you can sit down facing the rear direction, or they also have seats that are against the wall of the train, and you can sit down and look out the side windows, okay? So I'm in one of those seats lined up against the wall, so I can look out the opposite side. Those guys get on the train, and they sit uh, on the opposite side of the doors, same kind of seating, and they're looking out in the same direction as me. Train's going on. They're having just a whatever kind of casual conversation. I'm not trying to listen to their conversation, but they're also so loud that I can't help but hear their conversation. Now the train, just before it gets to Union Station, passes by Little Tokyo, which is right by downtown LA. Now, <clears throat> the guy, one guy, Eric Carroll's jersey, says to his friend, hey, there's the Japanese, Japanese uh, museum. Have you ever been there before? Oh, I've been there a couple times. It's pretty good, blah, blah, blah. His buddy says, no, I've never been there. But coincidence, I work with a guy who uh, grew up in one of those camps, who was one, in one of the camps, Manzanar, to be exact. He says, my friend was in Manzanar. And you would think he'd be a bitter guy, but he's not. He actually speaks fondly of being there in the camp with his family and friends. Now, here comes the trigger. Eric Carroll's jersey says, well, you know, I could understand why those kind of things happen. Boom. My antennas go up. What's coming next? He says, you never know who you can trust. <laughs> I just reacted. 
I didn't plan anything, but I leaned forward and looked over at them and said loud and clear enough that they can hear me, what do you mean you can see how something like that would happen? Don't you know American citizens were put in those concentration camps against their will? Eric Carroll's jersey doesn't look at me, just looks at the floor the whole time I'm speaking. His friend leaned out and looked over at me because, of course, I'm talking to them. And he stared at me while I said what I said. Then he said nothing. I leaned back in my seat. The next stop was Union Station, so it was only like another minute or so on the train. They said nothing. They were quiet. I didn't continue. And we all got off the train. Now, this guy, Eric Carroll's jersey, said he'd been to the Japanese Museum twice. How do you go there twice and you don't know? You know that that happened to American citizens. Now, I bring this up and I don't make this video just to like spout how look at me I'm a hero that's not it as a matter of fact I debated for days about saying this but one reason is because maybe you don't know those camps were full of people who were American citizens they had their businesses taken away from them they had their homes taken away from them buses with soldiers pulled up into Japanese American neighborhoods they were rounded up hauled off and sent to concentration camps American citizens because this you don't know who you can trust business you know who else said you don't know who you can trust the guy in the White House when he was running for president said about Judge Curiel of Mexican descent a Mexican American judge federal judge said you he doesn't trust him because he's not American no they weren't throwing around racial slurs at somebody on that train but they were throwing around that casual racism that looks over your shoulder every now and then I just couldn't let it pass and I had to speak out about it don't let this kind of stuff fly because some of us are different one love peace